Live from the ABC7 Broadcast Center, this is ABC7 News at 5 on your side. And at 5, we have two big stories for you today. First, breaking details on a class action lawsuit connected to a local rabbi's peeping case. Why Georgetown University is now being named in that lawsuit. Plus, the GW Parkway sinkhole is still causing traffic problems tonight. Will it be fixed by the morning? We will have a timeline for the repairs for you. All right, now we'll tell you about that in a bit. But first, we're going to begin with the breaking news on that class action lawsuit connected to Rabbi Barry Freundel. But the lawsuit isn't against the rabbi. It's against some well-known institutions. I-Team investigator Josie Sturman is in the newsroom to explain. Josie? Maureen, Georgetown University, the Kesher Israel Congregation, and the Mikvah involved in the Freundel case are all named in this lawsuit, which was filed today by a Georgetown law student simply known as Jane Doe. Now, the victim, according to her attorney, was cut to the core by Rabbi Barry Freundel's breach of trust. That's what they call it. Now, although criminally charged, he is not named in this lawsuit. Instead, she is holding other accountable in the chain in this civil filing. In it, she claims Georgetown, the synagogue, and the mikvah turned a blind eye to the rabbi's increasingly bizarre behavior and ignored red flags that he was acting inappropriately with women who were subjected to his authority. Frandell is accused of spying on and recording women in that mikvah where the victim claimed she was required to go and participate in an immersion ritual as part of Frandell's Jewish studies class. The lawsuit claims Frandell specifically directed her where to go, where to address dress, where to put her clothes before that bath. And the suit blames Georgetown and the others for failures in hiring Frundell and then not investigating what was happening in the mikvah, where the lawsuit claims an entire class of women were sexually exploited. Now, Georgetown tells us it is horrified by the behavior reported to have taken place and that it is cooperating with law enforcement and doing its own investigation. The mikvah did not want to comment today. The synagogue did not respond to our requests for comment. Josie Sturman, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Josie. 